Hey guys, I will give you a breakdown on numbers because Brothers War, I actually did get some the other day. And yeah, I got some set and draft. I get them in these sleeve, they're called sleeved packs. That, that's what I call them. And that's what my distributor calls them. And the packs got more expensive from Dominier United. So if you go to Walmart and Target, you might not see this online other than like maybe Walmart and Target or Best Buy, you will see that a Dominaire United and a Brothers War pack is the same price, but a pack of Neon Dynasty, if they have that, or New Campana is cheaper than the packs of Dominaire United. So Wizard of the Coast has actually increased the price of packs, which then increases my cost to buy them because you know, it's for simple math, I pay 60% retail. So my distributor pays 50% retail. So for example, let's say a magic pack costs $6. Uh, my distributor would pay 50%. So they would pay $3 for that same pack of magic cards. And then they would charge me um, a 10%. So they charge me free 30. And that's how we get our numbers. So the more expensive the MSRP becomes, the more expensive it costs the distributor, which then means that the distributor will pass the cost on to me, the end you know, buyer, I guess, in this particular case. Now, the numbers have been wonky for some time. Um, it's partially Amazon, but it's also just the numbers themselves. A lot of people don't know this because uh, they, they don't. The price of a box or a pack or whatever a free pack, free pack bundle. I like the free pack bundles, and they have been increasing since Dominaria United. These are more expensive, and we're just so in addition to the greed and the thirty of Magic Adam. I mean, what you don't see is because you see the Amazon price and so on. You don't see the MSRP has got more expensive, right? Now, you, we might argue, oh, MSRP is just this kind of imaginary number, but it still holds some weight. It's not, it's not an uh, insignificant number, I'll, I'll put it that way. So the MSRP for sleeved boosters, um, for bundles, for uh, free pack bundles, you know, the free packs that you see, basically the MSRP for all the products in Brothers War and Dominaria United is more expensive than the previous sets. I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure it started with Dominaria United. There's like another set that is incredibly expensive. It is Baldur's Gate Commander Legends and it's just like the shittiest set, but for whatever reason, it has like 20 cards of draft and like some, you know, and you get a foil etched every single pack. It's very interesting. Now, most players don't know this because the <laughs> the boxes that they see are constantly on discount, right? So like, you probably don't realize the price of Brothers War is more expensive than New Campana, which was more expensive than War of the Spark. But on my end, I obviously see it, right? Because I'm paying for it. And that's the reason that a lot of newer store, like the margins are simply not there Mainly, I mean, one part is Amazon, but the other part is things are getting, the fact that most Magic players probably don't know that Dominaria United has a different price point for us than New, so Neon Dynasty, I can sell cheaper than Dominaria United because uh, their value in the set hasn't changed. It's not like Dominaria United is a more valuable set. I've actually had better luck with uh, Neon Dynasty in terms of pulls, in terms of, you know, getting the cards I want. It is pretty savage, my boys. Um, Magic does not want you as a game store owner to make any type of profit. And you can see this with the secondary market and their secret layers and 30 of Magic. They honestly want to kill, they want to, I don't know if kill is the right word, but they want to dominate the secondary market. They don't want anyone to make a dime from this product minus Magic the Gathering, which is wrong. Because if a game store does not make a dime from selling this product, they won't carry it. And you're like, oh, well, I can go to Walmart and go, oh, yeah, good, good luck. I can go buy online, the Amazon. Good luck, right? Good luck finding a place to play. And that's where I am. Uh, I, I just blanket, I will make a blanket statement. And uh, it is that I don't think any game store, if Magic continues to just crush the margins, and I mean, there are, they were already low, but now with this new price point, 
is and they sell eighty dollar box drive. I mean, it's just so crazy, and nobody's talking about this new price point. And every Target, every Walmart, every you know, every single pack is more expensive in Dominic starting from Dominic United. And it's it's not a insignificant gap, especially when you look at collector's edition and so on. And the MSRP has gone up, but the product itself, because of online sales, doesn't actually. It seems like it went down in price. So it's like a double whammy. Like you can't justify it to your customers. The customers are like, oh no, what, what's going on? Like you know you paid more for Domino United and Brothers War, but your customers think that you paid less because it's a sucky set, man. It's like, ugh. And the same with Jumpstart and so on. Everything went up in price. Uh, and no one has talked about it. <laughs> it's because no one knows. The only person that would know is someone who owns a game store that, hey, your distributor is upcharging you on these two sets. The Dominary United, Brothers War is more, and, and you don't know what the future is, right? Let's say they make the new Phyrexia and it's even more expensive. There's no like rhyme or reason that these two are more expensive. We're in like a recession. You know, we're in a time where, honest to God, there's not that many people who want to buy magic cards compared to previously, right? Because money is an issue. Money is definitely an issue. Um, let's just be real. I, I think most game stores are going to go online like mine is. So 2023, um, my main goal, which I'm working on today is to hire somebody to help me like a secretary or some type just to help me like inventory. And I don't, I have, I have no idea what my inventory looks like. I've just been buying this stuff and putting them in these home Depot bins. Uh, I, they're no longer red bins. You have to get yellow bins now. No, there's no more yellow bins. They got to get red bins. And the same bin, it costs the same amount of money. But I don't know why they're doing that. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I just something interesting I noticed. I buy so many bins from them and then I put them in my room and then I organize them, I label them and I throw them off in storage when it's all done. So I need somebody to go to storage, inventory all the items, and that way we can start selling them. <laughs> it's not as easy as you think. But there is demand. I, my live streams are doing really, really well. Like I was happy to get like 10 or 15 people in the live stream. Now we're doing like 60, on a bad night we do 60, 50, 60, right? On a good night we can do over 100. Uh, and that's pretty good. That's equivalent to about the biggest sellers on whatnot, the whole whatnot platform. That's just like, just the, you know, the some like nobodies, right? For, for the most part, I look at the uh, people and whatnot who do really well, and we have the same amount of numbers they do, again, for the most part. Now, how you're gonna sell it, it depends on price. I can sell it below any whatnot person because I have a distribution contract that they do not. So I'm pretty sure that I'm getting my cards cheaper than they're getting their cards. But again, I don't know, some of them may be stores. I think some of them are actually stores. So I'm at least competitive with the ones that are stores and then for the ones that are individuals who are buying at retail, God forbid retail, or for Amazon and so on. I mean, you gotta buy the new stuff, right? I just got a uh, shipment of over 4,000 uh, sleeve pack. I, I only get sleeved because I like it. Um, I think there's less of a chance for people to deceive you on sleeved, obviously, right? If if that's, and they actually sell Pokemon sleeve packs, sell for a lot. I opened a lot of like Celestial something, 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 and, um, yeah, man, I wish I kept my sleeve packs back in the day. They're just, they're collectible now. So I might just hold, I might just hold it. I might just throw all my sleeve packs in the storage and for Pokemon, for magic. I don't think for magic sleeve packs are not as regarded as sleeve packs are in Pokemon. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm saying that we are going to become virtual. We're going to sell all of our goods on YouTube. Um, I'm probably going to figure out the employee issue for, so number one, I got to figure out the employee issue first. Number two, we got to do the sales thing and taxes and all that good stuff, right? Um, and then that will be good. Then we'll be ready to go. And we'll start box breaking in uh, January. Uh, my timeline has only changed a tiny bit. I was supposed to open a physical store December 15th, if you watch the video. Uh, we hired a uh, interesting person and uh, it didn't work out, you know, um, and that set us back. I mean, it set us back way more than I would think it would set us back. But that also helped me because it, at that point in time, you know, I didn't need a physical place anymore. 
even though she didn't have a car or a reliable transportation, which, you know, I mean, at the very least, okay, I'm not hiring like a genius 500 IQ person to run my store. I'm just hiring somebody who is easy, can listen to directions well, do basic stuff like take inventory and count, you know, basic high school level uh, math skills and won't steal. That's a big one. You know, they're, they'll probably look at, anyway, yeah. I think most stores are going to go online, like Alpha Investments. I, I honestly don't think that the physical stores are going to survive much longer just on Magic. Now, if you sell like other stuff, that's interesting. But if Magic is your number one seller, you know as well, I, I, as I know, that at any given time, they're going to raise the price on us. And nothing we can do. They won't raise the price on Amazon, right? Amazon still have its $50 box sales. But you, you'll pay more money.